Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team, sponsored by AC Designs. Well, after the rain and the storms that we saw today, a lot of folks picked up quite a good a bit of rain, especially up on the north side of town near the airport, uh, picking up over an inch and nearly a third of rain here earlier today. Lake City over an inch, almost an inch and a quarter there. Craig Airport actually did break a daily record. They got just over three quarters of an inch today, so uh, a little bit of a soggy uh, Wednesday out there for you. The ground very, very saturated here this evening, but drier airs filtering down in from this just massive storm system. So the center of low pressures right up around uh, Lake Michigan and the Chicago area actually bringing in some snow uh, for them. They're stuck in the 30s here this evening, but uh, we're starting to see that dry slot, which is typically much cooler, drier air from aloft getting kind of pulled around on the backside, and that's slowly going to filter in across the first coast here over the next couple of days. As our uh, cloud cover and all those storms continue to push further and further off the coast and out into the uh, Atlantic Ocean. So much clearer, drier weather here over the next couple of days. Starting off tomorrow, temperatures going to be in the low to mid 50s and only warming up into the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. So we'll be a little bit on the cooler side, especially through your morning hours and especially uh, as well by the evening. You guys just heard uh, Rodney Atkins plan at the Jacks River Jams tomorrow night. Make sure you do pack uh, a jacket or at least a sweatshirt, especially for the latter half of the concert as temperatures are quickly going to start to cool off out of the 70s down into the low 60s and even the 50s then by 9, 10, 11 o'clock. Then you factor in a little bit of the breeze. Definitely going to add a little bit of an extra chill in the air because the winds out of the west are going to pick up quite a bit, especially by late tomorrow afternoon. Wind gusts could be anywhere from about 20 to 30 miles per hour. I think sustained winds should be closer to about 15 to 20. But nonetheless, uh, a cooler, breezier day out there for you tomorrow and also for Friday as well. So cool breeze is going to be sticking around here through the end of the week and into your weekend. So just keep that in mind if you do have any outdoor plans. I know Chief Meteorologist Tim Deegan, he's excited for this one. He's feeling a little bluesy. Spring in the Blues Festival out at uh, Jacksonville Beach here starting on Friday, continuing through Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures really not fluctuating all that much. Low 70s for Friday, Saturday, mid 70s by Sunday. And you guys just heard the Clay County Fair, gorgeous weather there. Ag Day is going to be on Saturday. I think the goat showing starts at about 10 a.m. for uh, the kids in 4-H and FFA. Uh, so fun uh, activities out there out at the fair. And generally, we're just staying dry here over the next couple of days. It's not going to be until the middle of next week, next Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe even into Friday, that our next storm system slides in out of the Gulf. So until then, enjoy the dry, sunny weather. Low 70s here the next few days before we warm back to near 80 degrees by next Tuesday. Thank you, Rob.